Hello everyone, I'm Al Bayel, and today I'm going to take you through how to set up your Windows firewall and an example of port forwarding for your Arc server and Minecraft server, which is exactly the same setup for you Minecrafters out there. So, first I'm going to take you through the port forwarding example. Now again, as mentioned in my Arc Survival Evolved video, every router is different. So, this example I'm showing here is from a router that I have lying around. It's going to be completely different to yours, or if you've got the same router as I have, then you're in luck. So, what I'm going to do is take you through how to acquire the IP, what protocol to set them in, and explain why these you have two fields. But again, not all every router has this dual field option. So first let me go through how to acquire the IP of your computer. This is useful for if you aren't on a dedicated server with a static IP and it the router is actually giving the IP to your computer. So what you can do is open up a command prompt, type in IP config space minus all enter this will give you a long list of all the devices for networking that are available to the computer the device you want is this the ethernet adapter which is the default if you of course have your own device that you've installed after purchasing the PC like a PCIe network card etc then it will probably come up with the name of it in the title either way you need to look out for the physical address and the IPv4 address the reason I ask that you look for this one is because it is relevant for another way of technically making it a static IP, which I'll show later. So, this is the IP that my computer is currently being given by the router. So, that's where we input it in here. I then set these to see TCP UDP because that's how I've got my firewall set up again I don't truly know which protocol is needed for the ARC server um, due to the fact that it was taking a long time to get a actual definitive answer so I've just done both to save time and effort but once you set this up put the port numbers in here individually. The reason there are two fields is because for this router you can actually set a range so I could actually port 27013 to 27016 and it will forward to every port within that range but I don't need a range so I'll just put the port number in each as the same. Again this will be different with each router so the reason why you may need the MAC address is if you have a DHCP function on your router. This again might be in different places but the DHCP is what gives the IPs to devices that don't have the functionality or have set a static IP. And What I've done in here is set that IP to that MAC address which is there. That basically is telling the router, hey, in the range of IPs that you have set, can you please, you know, keep this IP for that MAC address? Because I don't want any other device to have that IP as I want it to be dedicated or reserved. This is one way of 
making a static IP on a personal computer without having to touch the personal computer's settings. So with the port forwarding out of the way, which we've set up there, we'll move on to the firewall. Now the firewall, again, is relatively easy. So as you can see, there's my Arc server settings. To get to this point, we go to new rule, port, next. Keep it on TCP for the first two. Type in your port that you wish. Next, allow connection. Uh, this is personal preference. Um, I prefer private as it's on a personal PC. It's not connected to domain and I'm definitely not taking it out into the public. So there's no point. You can leave them ticked if you want. Next, and then give it a name. So for argument's sake, I'm just going to put example. If I can spell. Finish. This will then put it next to a green tick basically saying this port and this port can have access to the computer via TCP protocol and then just repeat for the others again the reason I've done all protocols is because I just couldn't get a definitive answer if you wish to research into it, you may. I just did this for time's sake. So once that's set up, you should be able to easily connect to your Arc server or Minecraft server for the Minecrafters out there. For the Minecrafters, if you wish for people to connect from the outside, just find the IP for the router that's external. This can be found either on the router or by going to what's what is my IP dot com or put actually searching in Google what is my IP and that will give you your IP in a search box on the web browser. So that's about covered everything for setting up the firewall and port forwarding. If you need any questions answering please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Al Bael and bye for now.